comes. Alright, let's keep up with my team Zanti and I'm gonna focus on your brand new song. Cool, learn about CBs or CBs and teenagers on a mission. Mo na na SABC One, we're live and TV are uno. Now, Mr. Njeke, we are buzzing with excitement. Go back to my spin again, Zanti, about the wonderful world of Appy culture. Well. Kind of beekeeping to me and you. Mm. You know? Yeah, it's Kumanga Mahani bees. Yes. Ama Bumble bees. Yes. Solitary bees. Hey. I mean, there are about 25,000 species of Ama bees and they're very, very important to our ecosystem. Fuji, they are just so fascinating. They pollinate over 70 of the 100 crop species as a coil that give us food. 90% mm. of our food. Now, but Fuji, pollination is always because with Ama bees, they fertilize Ama plants. So basically, what happens is, now, what about that's a pollen from the male side of the plant right. to the female side of the plant, and by so doing, I'm a plant. I am cooler. I'm a flower. I am cooler. Are you ready for today's show? So ready. Are you ready? Well, let's get buzzing. Bzz. All right, Makenge, here's what you can expect. Glenn Omo got TOMZ. So, to up with the young South African female who owns and runs her own bee farm. What inspired her to embrace beekeeping? Sifundekabanze were the sophisticated, well-organized workings of the honey bee colony. And what they actually do. What do we need to know about keeping bees alive in the future? Take a quick quiz, Nitesdulwazilwako of the wonderful world of bees. This is the very part where you get to interact with you guys via our social media pages. I'm trying to guess in what's going to What is the lifespan of a bee? What color is it? At Kumani underscore zero one. Uti, as soon as they sting you, it's over. Ha ha, go pelele. We're spilling this pete. Oh, Henrik and Dimani on Facebook. What's going on again? About a year or so. A year? No, not too sure. Keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We are TMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SAVC underscore. Go one. Alright, Zanti, we've heard what you guys have to say on social media and what's the buzz? Man, you guess so cool and bang and bits. I'm slanji is so way to Emma for him patele high school. Clearly, no siswam lana o mushman come up swami. Offensive. Offensive in a funu was now to me and like skills. And to me the neck. Alright. So what do you want to do after high school? I want to go study neurology and become a brain surgeon. When? Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to ask you 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 to help provide the nation with food, for example, Ihani, and then they also play a part in making pollination possible. If I'm a bees and I extinct, what would happen? Life in a baby, they're back here. Alright, because the number of bees is decreasing, why do you think that is? I maybe give the aerosol sprays, or go. Aerosol sprays. Alright, cool, put me aerosol sprays. Question to go the means about Kuna in your see either as a hobby or to generate some money. Let's just one by tonight, Bazi Ayongele. Beekeeping for beginners. Apiculture, organi beekeeping, is the maintenance of honeybee colonies, gui hives, in order to collect e honey yabo. A beekeeper, organi e apiarist, must understand the basic structure of a honeybee colony. E beekeeping e dinga e beehive. In the way lay your follow beehive, a full set of impasa that protects you, and the basic tools which are a hive tool, a bee brush, footy smoke. For 1538, e-honey bees that say Europe Zokala were imported to South America by the Spanish. It was only in 1700 though that it was understood that Inyosi gathered the nectar with which honey is made from, from flowers. For 1835, Uyohan Dierson, e apiculturist in Poland, discovered that drones are produced from unfertilized eggs. For 1838, he devised the first beehive, Eya Vumela e Honeycombs, to be removed individually. Jengobane has again, Kobe Namtang is all about the busy, busy world of bees, and I must say it is very busy. Do you see what I did there? When you ask about the intro, yeah, news is actually called a nest, high a hive, a hive. Yenzi wenga bantu and is there to extract honey. And the girl so called man, honey can't jolly. Ne, boah, just kashle kashle. A honey bee, a yoto ne. Kashle kashle, as you only produce angaki. 
one twelfth of a tablespoon in its life. Yeah. So if you do the math, né, it'll take about 550 honeybees visiting 2 million flowers just to produce half a kilogram. Yeah. Wow. Baba. Tell us what your thoughts are on Facebook and on Twitter, and we'll see you on the flip side of this. Alright, you're afraid to welcome back to TMZ Rach and SAVC1, where life and TV are one. Now today's buzz is all about the bees. I wanna know one thing though. Why are my bees a buzz? No, I don't know. Tell you what, I want my bees um a papa moyen. Like their wings are just going so fast and flapping so fast, and that's where the sound actually comes from. Okay, what is I get That's you. Cool. Oh, genius indeed. But again, they're so chilled. Like, they're so chilled. Mind their own business. But if you aggravate them, then I mean, they're going to have to get aggressive, you know? So, yeah, just don't. don't. No, who knows? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, when I get a pick out, Oma, oh, I it's best that you get medical help really, really fast. Yeah. But again, if you're not like myself, then yeah, go so about it's not really dangerous. What about my tears? But in there, an average human can actually withstand a thousand bee stings. What? A thousand. I got my job at first at and No money, no money to also change into a one, a two, a small scale talent. Tell me, how about Ganja? My guess begin. Alright, 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 my gang. It's a touchdown up at Roy Val. Now I'm trying to we're meeting up with an amazing lady who's doing a pretty extraordinary job. I get Andy Mazi, Futi Anko Show, but so when they don't happen, I'm trying to. But let's go find out what's the buzz. Hello, Njani. Good and yourself. Come along, Gubun. Please tell us what's your name, CP. So when they don't happen, I'm trying. My name is Mohadi Moloko Mabela and um, I'm a beekeeper. So you are here today to learn about all that I do, including bees and um, what they do for us and just uh, bee farming, what it's all about. So Mohadi, what are you doing with beekeeping? Well, beekeeping is the management of beehives, um, what we would refer to as mamapo in Sipedi, Lidi Nozi, to actually make honey. So you can make that honey as a hobby, uh, or you can make it for commercial purposes to sell it and actually make money. In your city, honey live in sophisticated, well-organized societies. A honeybee colony could comprise of between 50,000 and 60,000 bees. Queens are the only members of a colony able to lay fertilized eggs and are capable of producing up to 2,000 eggs in Ilanga. Bonake generally live only two to three years producing eggs. It drones zona, Oganya, the male honeybees, are hatched from unfertilized eggs and have only one tusk. Fertilized new queens. Our sevens are all the females, but they are unable to produce fertilized eggs. They hunt for pollen and nectar, tend to queens and drones, but kiss the larvae, ventilate the hive, and defend the nest. The average lifespan of worker bees is approximately six weeks. So Anna, how did you get into the beekeeping business? So the beekeeping business is a family thing. It's a family business. Papaka, ki muli wadi no So I am like the first of three girls and uh, my father is growing old. Mm. So we started to then wonder in the event that he dies, you know what's going to happen to all his hard work because he's got all these beehives all over the place, he's got all these relationships all over the place and all these uh, shops and clients that he sells to. So it would be such a tragic loss, um, not only with his life having gone, but also with his business then just falling in the cracks. So I need to rekiwule business elongri itlo dila ka what my father is doing so mukhadi please just tell us where we are i see that there's a lot of crops out here so kwenza ka ndona up so this is um, a project called the Royval sustainable farming project and um, it we are working with a team uh, called made with rural made with rural ba kriabalimi preferably young uh, farmers 
who are actually uh, planting and are active farmers. And then they assist them in terms of their development, in terms of support. And then um, this is one of the farms, Muelongori Balima. Um, Balima di Pepa, Balima di Jalapino, Basazoli di Damati. Last time they were planting baby marrows and um, but we see you're doing beekeeping. Can you then come and place some beehives as part of a pilot that we're doing so that the beehives um, and the bees can actually then pollinate our crops so that we can yield better crops? Well, with a lot of hard work. As the weather begins to warm up, Abba Sebenzi at around 14 days old will leave the nest at sunrise to begin foraging on the flowers within about 5 km radius. Okay. They make up to 10 trips in Langa, collecting the sweet nectar for tea pollen to take back to the hive or Ganya nest. In your CS7 Zayo have glands which secrete an enzyme that is mixed with the nectar in their mouths and then dropped into the honeycomb cells back at the nest. But in solution your nectar here iba thicker, the bees will add a layer of wax over the honeycomb cells. So now you are gonna help me get into my gear. The number one most important reason is to protect yourself from Wulumi Wakidinos. This is my beekeeping suit. Yes, I see that. And it has to be white. Yeah, bees don't like dark colors. Oh. Um, so whenever you're doing hive inspections, you must either be wearing white or a very light color. So this is a smoking machine. We use pine needles. And then you close your smoker. And then in this way, you are ready to go and do your hive inspection. Okay. So what we're gonna do here mm -hmm. is that we are gonna show you the inside of a beehive. Okay. So before you open your beehive, say it had bees, you are going to then smoke into the entry and exit points. Okay. And as you do this, the bees then start thinking that you are about to burn the beehive or the beehive is on fire. And this is what happens. All the smoke comes out and then you are able to then check out your beehive. So in this instance, the whole honeycomb would be in this whole area. Okay. Yes, and then you basically then take this and put it into your extractor. And then the extractor is gonna spin all the honey out and you still have your full frame. Okay. Yeah. You're fascinating. Uh -huh. I'd be the queen bee. Okay. I don't have to work. Mm -hmm. I just have to lay eggs. Mm -hmm. And I live the longest. All right. All right, come on up. But the male bees and the durians also have like a cushy job too. Like they always have to make sure with the gear they actually fertilize the queen. Mm -hmm. But again, unfortunately, they actually die straight after that. So right now, we're going to take a quick commercial break. I'm going to take a quick commercial A drone actually has a grandfather but doesn't have a father. Tell me on Facebook and on Twitter how you think that works. We'll see you after this. Shut up. Alrighty, we're free to welcome back to TMZ Mona and SABC One Way Life and TV R Uno. Now, before the commercial break, we're facing Bose Umbozo's Katagate. When Zara and Janu Guti, a drone, a male bee, has a grandfather but doesn't have a father. Buntu, I want to know, did you figure that one out? I did. Okay, okay. Ready. And ready. Okay, mommy, like cool, cool. A drone is hatched from an unfertilized egg. Oh. Okay. So the has a mom, the queen bee, but no dad. Then the mother, which is the queen bee, mm -hmm. is hatched from a fertilized egg. So it has both parents. So the drone is chilling with a mother, no father, and a grandfather from the mother's Oh, 100% correct. Hey, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a about what a beekeeping. And right now, she actually has a bee farm. So, let's bzzz into this. So, let's talk about how do the bees actually pollinate? The, the, the plants 
unlike humans, mm. um, are not able to reproduce on their own without the help of um, a pollinator. So the bee is the biggest pollinator. What it does is that it exchanges the male and the female seeds okay. so that they can be able to then, you know, um, provide more uh, uh, um, fruits and vegetables and flowers so that they can get the biodiversity going. Um, and then that's why the farmers actually need us because in certain crops like uh, your butternuts, like your baby marrows, you are going to yield more mm. if you've got bees. So whereas you could have had like 50 butternuts, you may end up with like 150 or 200. And with us, we benefit because the more food our bees have, the more honey we make. Mm. And the more honey we make, also the more money we make. But also there's a global population uh, bee decline, mm. you know, where the, the bees are just, the numbers of the bee population are just decreasing year by year. So when we do that, we are able to preserve the life of the bee because you are sure that you've got beehives with colonies which you are managing and providing a good shelter for um, and in that way you are providing a better conducive environment for them to actually survive and thrive and um, so that's why beekeeping is so important wow who knew that in yours had like <laughs> such a um, powerful role it is it is a very powerful and you'd underestimate it because when you eat an apple every day when you eat an orange every day you are not aware of the impact that the bee had in ensuring that you had that food so we know that global hunger is a huge issue. Mm. You know, we've got a lot of our countries and our people who don't have food and who are um, experiencing big uh, 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 um, experiences of, of poverty. Mm. And bees are actually impacting on that process. So the more farmers we have, the more beekeepers we have, the more we can actually change that. You know, the more food we can actually make in the world, the more food we can secure. Hey, yo, what's going on, Tom's ass? You know, you guys are very special to us. And yeah, it's good to get together. We went down to visit Mpafuri Mpatele High School, SOA to Bafetu. Now, but I'm going to be already, we are rats and we are relevant. Ubuntu and see are ready to take over and have fun with you guys as we explore the amazing world of science and technology. Lights, camera, and action. Are you guys ready to experience the ultimate edutainment? Well, let's get it. We interacted with the learners at Scala. We played some awesome games, such Java, did some cool experiments, and man, oh man, we had so much fun. If you wanted to come to your school, guys, it's simply easy. All you gotta do is drop us an email at times at sabceducation.co.za. And who knows, your school might be next. What we've learned today all about science and tech. This is a buzz that learners go to born. Nobody has anything about science and technology. And it's about you to learn about what is science and what is technology. We had an awesome time of it, so we handed out some awesome books that will empower the learners and leave them motivated. Learning what it is can assist the learners with their career guidance in the future. What do bees collect from flowers? Is it A, honey and pollen? B, nectar and other insects? C, nectar and pollen? D, sugar and nectar? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. We tested their knowledge in the team TOMZ a. Challenge, but first, where we saw oh, Team A winning the first round. And C is indeed correct. All right, take a buffet to City Halala Shine to Team A for making it this far. This is what we call the knockout challenge. All right, take a buffet to Minafunu Wazine. How many eyes does a B have? Is it A, two? Is it B, five? Three simple eyes and on top of its head and two compound eyes or C8, D12. Press the buzzer if you know the answer right now. All right, my boy, what's your name? Kupi. What's your name? Kupi. Sure. What's your name? 100% sure. All right, cool. I'm going to refer to if that is the correct answer. And oh my boy, all right, see, that is the correct answer. Yes. Oh yes, my boy, Halala Shine to you for making it this far. Lena CB is a Tom Speed Round Master. How are you feeling? I feel awesome. I feel awesome, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, cool. My point is that you're going to have the very same pattern that you're going to have to do. You're going to on top of a small one. You have two minutes to do this. What do you think about it? Alright, cool. Let's get to the next one. Right about Jenga Manch. Nazoge.
A minute gone on the clock, Assam. Like, <laughs> but thank you so much for playing, my guy. Thank you so much for Absolutely. In the 130 years as a Zuli Leo, half of our wild bee species have disappeared. 40 ecosystem year two has been compromised. So, Singapore is as a land of guys clustering it in future aircon. The future sees beekeepers facing many challenges due to climate change and the rising levels of their carbon dioxide. It levels the carbon dioxide as a new guy will affect the protein levels of plants, making them less nutritious to the insects that eat them. In your sinezinia, insects will compensate by eating more of the plant, which will require the use of more pesticides. And your endeavor to reverse the decline of honeybees is to the small scale beekeepers actively growing a more stable population than yours. A bright spark on the horizon is the flow frame. And your invention engine that promises to allow honey to be harvested with no disturbance or any harm to the bees. Alrighty, my friends, this is Figgy Lefuti Emma Petit and Oshel Lerwitz and Amshanji. Thank you so much for watching ETOM. Zin Jung and Talienza Bafit. And Kumbale to be online on our social media pages. Uh, see what I did there. On Facebook, you are trouble down your Facebook.com forward slash TOMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore Uno. You can also buzz through your website here. Do you see what I did there? Uh huh. Triple <laughs> company dot SABC education forward slash TOMZ dot CO dot ZA. But until then, let's buzz away. <laughs> Okay, here's what you can expect next time on TOMZ. Well, I'll the South African Police Services Forensic Science Laboratory. Watch as a forensic artist and forensic anthropologist reconstruct a face. What are some of the different types of forensic science? When do we first start using forensic science to solve crime? What new forensic technologies will we have in the future? Take a quiz to find out if you could be a forensic detective. Hi okay guys, catch us same place, same time on our favorite channel, SABC One, Real Life and TV. All right.